Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with the Play Tape Review. Play Tape, the fun that sticks. Play Tape is this really cool road tape that you can pretty much put down on any surface to use for, you know, your Lego vehicles, your vehicles, anything really. It is, it's really cool tape. You can play everywhere. All with the very awesome tape that is made in the USA. Play tape is easy tear, sticks to any flat surface, it is repositional, easily removable, and no residue is left on the surface. As you can see here on this card, they show you some examples of how you can set this play tape up in your LEGO city. Here are some very cool play tape products that are available now on their website. To check out their website, scan this QR code now. Since I received this product in my Brick Loot LEGO subscription box, this product review is technically brought to you in part by Brick Loot. The ultimate brick box for the ultimate brick fan. Here's the roll of tape itself. There's actually over 15 feet of road here on this, in this play tape. This is what the road looks like all the way around. It has lines and it starts at the start, start again. This roll of tape is actually the classic road series. I don't think that this product was actually made for Lego. I just think it's a really cool project product that can be used for Lego, like Brick Loot has shown us in the picture. All you do is find an area that you want to tape on. You just stick, flatten it out, and you can roll it just like this. Flatten it down, oh my gosh, I'm taping my backdrop. I haven't even tested this yet, so if it like moves a mark, I'm not gonna be happy. I'm not gonna cut it just because it's the sake of this review, but as you can see, it is completely fastened to the table. There's no way I can pull it up now. First thoughts here, I'm actually really impressed how well it sticks to the surface. It's not peeling, except in the spots where I had to peel to pull it up. So all I really need to do is to have cut this end off before I started to lay it. And I guarantee that it would have been perfectly flat on this surface. I really like the feel of this. It, it feels smooth, but it doesn't feel papery. Now I really just want to see really what Lego will look like on it. So I'm going to drive a race car on it. First thoughts, it's it's a very smooth surface for the race car to drive on. Very smooth noise. The what the race car, this particular car, is too big, so it's actually overlapping both sides of the line. But I mean, you could just have it go. You could have like a two-lane highway. You could have this tape side by side. A cool thing that I'm noticing actually on it is the cool color combination. It's not just straight black because no road is. You can kind of, there's little speckles of white and it actually makes it look like, you know, gravel and stone and stuff that was, you know, leftover dirt that was left over from the paving process to make this road even look more realistic. One thing I myself am not really a fan of is the company actually has their logo on the road. And I just, you know, I understand why they did it, I just don't really like that because you don't really want somebody's logo all over your LEGO city or something like that. Now you've heard my thoughts on this really cool tape, let's take it off. We'll see how easy it is to roll right, right back up. Right, I'm going to try and roll right into the uh, roll. I've never set put this down before, so I'm really hoping that it comes back up without a... Oh. Uh, so my backdrop's moving, oh that's interesting. But what I'm noticing is it left a residue on my backdrop. <laughs> that part's hard, kind of, this part is hard to tear up. But that's what I'm noticing that my backdrop is ruined now. Ooh. So that is the damage that it left behind. It looks a lot worse here in person than I think it's showing up on the camera, so it's kind of hard for you to tell. So I think this is a cool product, and I loved it right up until it ruined my backdrop. Now I only like it, but it's, I think it's a cool project product. I just tried it on a couple other surfaces after I paused this video surfaces and it didn't leave any residue on that so it could have just done it because this is a white backdrop on white paper so if you're planning on doing this on your studio backdrop don't do it where you don't want it to be ruined because it could potentially leave black marks so I'm not that's the, this is the only thing I'm not really impressed about now that I'll have to you know replace my studio backdrop but other than that this is a cool product I showed you all how it works and and of course, if you're interested in this project for your LEGO City or your other products, I don't know, visit their website by scanning the QR code here.
Thank you so much for watching the review of Playtake, the fun that sticks. Thanks everybody for watching this video by BrickLover18. Go check out my LEGO YouTube channel for more LEGO related videos. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day.